we wanted to recognize the victims of the yeah. uh, volcano eruption mm -hmm. in Goma, Congo. Right. Um, I have I've been researching about where to give or where to get more connected. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys know uh, a good um, a not for profit or yes, an aid organization, please contact us yeah. via email or yeah. IG. Like I said, I, I had a chance to do some research, mm -hmm. get in contact with some people, but no one can really give me a definitive answer into how we can be of help. Mm -hmm. So if you know uh, a way we could, please feel free to send it to us. But right. uh, I have been praying. Right. I mean, that is my country. I love Congo right. to death. Mm -hmm. uh, even if I'm not answering and posting everything Congo, just know that Congo is in my heart mm -hmm. and I am praying and figuring out a way to help my folks yeah. like it is what it is yeah it's still a huge <laughs> thing and a part of our vision for the future is yeah. to be in congo and do work in congo and yeah and be with good people there mm -hmm. help the people there see we're just more behind the scenes until we get an answer then we can um talk to you guys about it It's recording. Hey! <laughs> I hit the record button. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife. Bename Ori. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell. So, so you know when a new, new video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. Okay, today. Today, I'm we, sick. I'm sorry, honey. I'm a little nasally, hence why my voice is a bit deep. D don't try me. <laughs> but that's neither here or there. Nor we are there. He nor neither there. nor, either or. Wait, now you confuse me. <laughs> well, he said it's neither here or there. What did I say? If you say neither, you say nor. If you say either, you say or. Okay, what he says. It does not matter. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> Ah, linguistics. <laughs> and I'm terrible at it. Oh my goodness. In my head, it all makes sense. And it comes out like, what did I just say? It's so I should just let it go, huh? Instead of being so nitpicky. Uh, today, today, we are talking about our rings mm -hmm. that we gave. Yeah. This is part four. This will be our final part. We're yes. going to end this out. We've had so much interest in it that we've kind of gone on. Yeah. Uh, but now it's time to it. move on to other things. Yes. yes. We've had a few comments saying God is going to pay you back. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. God's going to give you back um, your rings or he's going to bless you more because of what happened. Yeah. And so we wanted to talk about that. Yeah. Honey, what, what were some of the comments that you read? Some of the comments were just like, we believe that Ben and May is going to get new rings in Jesus' name. He's going to reimburse you. Mm -hmm. He's going to replace what the moth has stolen. Like, mm -hmm. it went on and on. And I can understand people's, like, um, heart. Like, desire to desire see Desire to us see blessed. us blessed and yeah. do well and be vindicated and... Mm -hmm. um, and things of that nature i totally get it mm -hmm. do we in fact believe that jesus will um give us back what was stolen from us right and it all start so we joined this church mm -hmm. and uh started hearing this teaching about giving that we had never heard before and yeah. we're very excited about it yeah um i'll preface this by saying god wants believers to be givers and yeah. something we've been saying over and over as we talk about our rings mm -hmm. he wants us to be givers we should be the best givers and the most open-handed givers yeah. uh, because of who he is and how he gave for mm -hmm. us. So uh, so when we heard this teaching on giving, we were like, oh, we've never heard this. You know, right, that, right. that not only should you be tithing and giving offerings, you should be doing this seed giving mm -hmm. where you receive back. And we're like, huh, that makes sense. You know, yeah. they use Bible yeah. verses and mm -hmm. it sounds really good. And we kind of got on that train and uh, more and more and more we, we bought into what we were hearing, yeah. and which was an extreme version of godly giving. Yeah. And it went beyond godly. And so to the point that we're told, you know, you can have all these things, a mansion and, you know, the most expensive cars and mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And you just have to, 
give. You just have to sow your money to reap back even more. Mm -hmm. A harvest, a hundredfold, right? 30, <laughs> 60, a hundredfold. Um, uh, and so we were buying into this. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were deceived. So yeah. that's number one. We were deceived. Yeah. The number two is that we believe it was greed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because is that the right word? Yeah. Even though we, you know, we were like kind of naive. Right. The motivation, if you were able to stop for a second, yeah. is to say, oh, this is greedy. Yeah. If I give what I have, I'll get a whole bunch more and I can have so much and I can be wealthy. That's a great point. But the church or the message or the movement in itself is that it stops you from thinking logically. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the time they say, check your brain out the door and things of that nature. We didn't have time to stop and think, even during the sermon. I couldn't stop and go, wait, right. he referred to that. Let me go find it. it right. Or even on my phone, it, right. would, it would just be like, he'll say something and if people feel so good, they get up, start clapping. Yeah, hype, yeah. And it's like... Get all wait. hyped up and the music, get the music right. going. Right, so then all... I go home and I sit down and I go, what did I learn on Sunday? Right. The same thing right. day in and day out. Right. And so you just learn to go and listen to this pastor. To me... Um, not to say that it didn't play a major part in my life in a good way, but for me, it was just like he became motivator, motivational the, the speaker versus yeah. someone who is um, trying to lead you to Christ and has, telling you, hey, you need to repent of your sins. It was, right. it was, I've never heard the message of repentance at that church when we were there yeah. for two years. But yeah, yeah anyways. It's, there's these things that feed into this manipulative control that can happen. You have yeah. a very charismatic leader. Um, they're very um, smart at the way they do things, and they create this place where people, you know, there was phrases like, don't touch the Lord's anointed. By so the way, like, you, you too are the Lord's anointed. Let's <laughs> so if you had straight. a question or a concern about what was coming from the stage, the uh -huh. pulpit, you know, they set themselves up above you, and they, they don't spend yeah. time with you afterwards. They escape out the back door, and they're yeah. these untouchable figures. And so... Um, you know, this this idea of they're the Lord's anointed and you can't say anything against them or question what comes out of their mouth. Um, so there's not accountability that way for the leadership right. and those that are speaking these things. Yeah. So this whole thing is created where if you're not careful, mm -hmm. you'll be deceived. Mm -hmm. And we were. And we were. So yeah. like, but it boils down to do we believe that we would be, you know, God will give us back what was stolen mm -hmm. um i told jory i don't believe so we had one vehicle because one had stopped working and mm -hmm. jory's dad brought down his motorcycle mm -hmm. thanks dad <laughs> <laughs> and like within the span of what a week maybe quick though it was quick, it was I quick. Like it was, <laughs> but the motorcycle got stolen yeah um I feel like in that sense, we didn't do anything to upset anybody. We didn't like, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. We didn't cause this. So like someone taking that um, motorcycle from us, it hurt us and we prayed mm -hmm. about it. But it's like, I can see God reimbursing us for that which was stolen because we didn't cause it. Versus where we made a choice. Mm -hmm. Yes, that choice was manipulated. Yes, that choice right. was... That the that, deception part is is kind of it's both on the deceiver and the one being and, deceived because right. we're not supposed to be deceived but that's also the fault of the person however however what you're saying is um because we wanted what we wanted right. we thought that oh yeah this is great we and earn it for ourselves yeah and it's in the context of god right so like this is perfect right um so there's a slight yeah. greed motivation there. Yeah. So in that case, I don't believe with all my heart, I don't believe God will bless us. I'm sorry to... Based on that. Based on that. Yeah. Based on... Sorry. <laughs> based on what we did, he's not going to reimburse right, us Right. Because you were that. deceived and you gave this so you could get more. Yeah. That's... Yeah. We don't believe that because we gave away those things, mm -hmm. God will give us more stuff more in stuff. fact that's almost back into mm -hmm. the same thing again because right. it's like that's why we were doing it in the first place right. we were giving it so we could get something from yeah. god right so yeah coming to a place of realizing that um i give because that's what jesus did for me he gave his life and my mm -hmm. reward it can be here but I also have to be prepared that i won't see it till right. you know i meet my maker right so like 
being content in that and still mm -hmm. continuing to give regardless uh, I just pray that for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah. The Bible says to store up treasures in heaven right. where neither moth nor rust destroy and where thieves don't break in and steal. Mm -hmm. For your treasure is there, your heart will be also. So yeah. the things that you store up in heaven aren't physical. They're not money. They're not property. Yeah. Um, and so that's important to keep in mind as well as what we were talking about. We mm -hmm. were discussing Matthew 6 a little bit. Oh, yeah. And it talks about how, you know, people have lost things or... Yeah. Um, or you know worrying about all these things mm -hmm. like material earthly things yeah and then in Matthew 6 verse 33 it says seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness and then all these things will be added unto you mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the fun thing about that is uh, when you seek his kingdom first, your mind isn't on all those things as much, and you don't necessarily want them as much. Mm -hmm. So even if you didn't get much of those things, you'd be content. It's a right. matter of being content. content. And so then if he does pour out all those things on you, right. it's not that you were seeking the things, you were seeking him, him absolutely, first. Absolutely. And so that's kind of... It's funny how it is that way. Like yeah. when you seek him first, you don't desire those things those as much, things, but yeah. then he can give those things to yeah. you. Maybe it's just that it won't have your heart. Exactly. You know? so. I, I believe that's what it is. We do believe he'll bless us greatly. Mm -hmm. And that blessing doesn't just mean money or material but things. But he's already blessed us. Yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's not because of, or not because of the rings. It doesn't have anything to do uh -oh. with... Quick announcement. <laughs> we did get a... Uh, what do you call it? P.O. box? <laughs> yes, we got a P.O. box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got a P.O. box. And yeah. it's going to be in the description box. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.